Oh, with five this story. It's a great memorial day though. It's great for parades. It's great for the beach. It's good for picnics. Today's weather certainly is fantastic. Large crowds headed to state parks and beaches. Seven parks hit capacity before 2 p.m. Now the unofficial start of summer is here this Memorial Day and to celebrate a lot of folks headed right for the water. And we find Channel 3's Shante Passmore at Hammond Acid Beach where the crowds are not thinning out, at least not yet. Shante? <laughs> No, Denise, why would they? You know, today is a very big beach day. And while many people are out here enjoying the day, they're also reflecting on what this holiday is all about. Sea breeze, surf and sand. What could be better? It's great. It's the perfect beach day. Everyone at Hammonasset Beach State Park seemed to think so. Day long campers hunted for the best real estate before the mad dash. Get here as early as you can. It actually wasn't that bad coming in this morning. At some of Connecticut's other popular parks, the list of places built to capacity started rolling through around 1130 this morning, including Miller's Pond and Kent Falls. Here, many savored the last day of the long holiday weekend. We're going to lounge around. We have the chairs out. we got a couple friends on the way, so we're just going to hang out, eat some food, food, relax, and maybe go into the water if it's not too cold. While hot, yes, that water was cold. Still, a few ventured out while others bathed in the sun or rested under the umbrella. The scene, a perfect backdrop for the Hutchin family as they reflected on the meaning of this day. My husband was saying earlier that it's just a nice day to reflect on the sacrifice and, you know, all the men and women that died so we could have our freedom. And honestly, that is what Memorial Day is all about. And from the looks of it right here on the beach, it doesn't look like anyone is going anywhere anytime soon, at least until sunset. Live in Madison tonight, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.